The key to easing pain for cancer patients may come from a deadly poison courtesy of Mother Nature. The Calgary scientist is leading the research into the new drug made by a small Vancouver biotech company. The painkiller, in fact, comes from the poisonous pufferfish. Here's Mia Sosiak with another global exclusive. It's a dull blade. It just keeps digging and digging and digging. For months, Karen Hare has suffered with leg pain from her fourth bout of cancer. I couldn't even do little things like go shopping. Getting out of the car. These three are morphine. She's been taking a cocktail of narcotics, steroids, and nerve pain medication. Truthfully, none of it actually took away all of my pain. I almost broke out into tears because that's when I truly realized how much it has affected my life. Thanks for coming. How are you? Karen's difficult pain made her eligible for Dr. Neil Hagen's pufferfish poison drug trial. The pufferfish, or fugu, is a delicacy in Japan. Unsafe fugu preparation still kills three Japanese a year because some of its organs contain deadly tetrodotoxin, but the poison has a hidden power. When we give it in measured quantities, uh, twice daily for four days, what we found is in some patients their cancer pain seems to improve a lot. Tetrodotoxin appears to block the exact right substance in nerves that allows them to transmit pain signals. It's kind of like cruise missile technology against pain. One pufferfish has enough poison to kill 30 people or treat 600 cancer patients. The amount in the weight of one drop of water is enough to treat thousands. Karen is at Tom Baker Cancer Center for a checkup after getting a series of tetrodotoxin injections. It kind of made my blood pressure go down. She's one of 100 Canadian cancer patients getting either the toxin or a placebo. The trial is Dr. Hagen's last one before the drug could be eligible for sale. It's kind of neat to think that something you're doing could be uh, a drug that will be on the market forever and ever and ever and help how many millions of people who suffer from cancer pain for several days, Karen thought she got the placebo. When her pain suddenly disappeared completely last week, at first, she didn't believe it. And I realized five hours later that yes, in fact, it had helped my pain. And it was wonderful. Hi, Chips. I can't run a marathon or anything. Of course, I, as the saying goes, I couldn't do that before either. But uh, it, it, I at least feel like I've got a little bit of a part of my life Back. For someone living with inoperable cancer, nothing could mean more. Mia Sosiak, Global News. Another 50 cancer patients from across the country are needed for the study. If the painkiller does work for them, they could be eligible to get it free for the long term. We've got all the details on our website at globaltvcalgary.com.